I'm Pete Starkey with Iconnect 007 at Productronica. Uh, I'm here at the booth of Teo America and delighted to have the opportunity to talk again to a, a, a good, good friend and, and colleague, uh, Don Mon. Don, it's great to see you here. Thanks, Peter. It's good to see you as well. Uh, Don, we've spoken a lot in the, in the past about developments in, in inkjet solder mask. Mm -hmm. Uh, I've spoken to a lot of people this week and it seems that inkjet solder mask is now considered a reality in our industry. What, what's your comment on that? Well, Pete, you are, you're, you're hearing correct. Um, there, there's more and more interest and besides the interest, there's actually, there's actually installations going on. Um, I'm sure everybody's seen the announcement from the very large company here in Europe. Worth is actually in production, running production boards on an inkjet tool with inkjet solder mask from Tayo America. And this, this solder mask, is, it, it's really got all of the capabilities. One, you can jet it. Uh, two, it will satisfy all of the end user qualifications. It, it passes all the IPC specs, it's UL approved, NASA outgassing. Um, it's a very strong product and it's, it, it, it has been several years we've talked about, we've been promoting. Um, in the last six months, there's been a lot of traction with, uh, with equipment installations, multiple suppliers, so there's, everybody's got some skin in the game. But the fact that I can actually today talk about a, a customer running production boards and I can openly make that statement, that's, that's great. And you can now realize all of the benefits of inkjet printing in terms of being able to place a material exactly where you want it, yeah. as thick as you want it, or as thin as you want yeah. it, or on boards for, for high frequency like 5G applications, have no solder mask at all on certain conductors. Yeah, you, yeah absolutely. It, it, it's a technology that when we started five years ago, there was, there was more doubt than excitement. If you remember those days at the conferences, there was more there was more questions about what it can't do instead of people looking at what it can do. And even here at the show, a number of people would look at a, at a board that was done with inkjet and the only comment that came out of their mouth was that it looks different. And we had to tell them, yes, it's absolutely different, but it's better in so many ways. It offers so many advantages, not only to the end user, but to the manufacturer who's building that board. I think, well, I, it's a technology I've been following, honestly, for 20 years. Uh, the, there were so many ambitious claims made about uh, inkjet solder mask in the early days that were never really delivered or realised. I think the industry for a period became quite sceptical uh, and said, yeah, 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 tell, tell, us, you know, tell us when it's a reality. But I think, certainly from what I've heard this week, that, that, that the reality is now. Right, and again, when, when you can announce uh, a manufacturer doing production, when you look at the number of installations in the last six months, and if you're a circuit board shop out there, you know them. Mm -hmm. And so you realize they're spending money to get down this technology because they understand if they don't, they're going to be behind the eight ball. Um, the waiting is over. We've spent four and a half, five years getting this to at this point, and it's good. It's ready. There's really no need to wait. And, and by cooperation with the equipment manufacturers, because they've had quite a lot of work to do in the meantime as well. Immense amount, and it, we've, been, we've been talking with them yesterday, today, the day before. Where we were two years ago as far as quality compared to today, it, it's, it's eye-opening. And, and they've worked incredibly hard to get those tools where they are today. And uh, moving forward, everyone's going to be appreciative of all the work that's been done. Uh, we, well, I think we, we're very pleased to see it. I think the industry as a whole is very pleased to see it. And I think the end users perhaps haven't yet realized all of the, all of the benefits. Perhaps the designers haven't yet realized all of the benefits. But I think we're in a position now where they will learn very quickly. Well, they will. And, and uh, my group and I, we still spend a lot of time going to OEMs promoting. And, and the, what we're getting back from some very important OEMs is that they need this technology just as much as the supplier needs the technology. Oh, Don, uh, I think it, it, Inkjet Solder Mask is finally a, a success story and thank you for your comments. Is there anything else that's been of particular interest at this show for you? Well, the other couple of things we've been talking about a lot, and if we just want to look right here, is, is Tayo has introduced a couple of new products. Um, 
for uh, for for uh, cameras on cell phones. It, it's a it's a spacer for the cameras, and then uh, some more heat management epoxy coatings that can be either go on the surface or in the hole to dissipate heat. Just another way of, of thermal managing a circuit board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But again, the focus, nine out of 10 conversations I've had in the last four days ha have been about the inkjet solder mask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't expect that to change anytime soon. Don, it's been great to see you again. Thanks for your explanations and we wish you every ongoing success. Great, Pete, thanks to see you and, and thanks everybody, we'll, uh, we'll see you soon. <laughs> Thank you, Don. Pete Starkey with iConnect007 at Productronica. Thank you.